Columbia, Maryland. Go ahead, please. Yes, good morning, C-SPAN. Sir, I'd like to ask you uh, this question regarding the testimony of Norma Mineta, the Secretary of Transportation, who appeared before you guys on May 23rd, 2003. And Norma Mineta was at the Oper uh, Emergency Operations Center in the White House with Vice President Dick Cheney around 9.20 on September 11, 2001. And during, and during that time, Norma Mineta said to you guys that while he was there, quote, during the time that the airplane was coming into the Pentagon, there was a young man who would come in and say to the vice president, the plane is 50 miles out, the plane is 30 miles out, and when it got down to 10 miles out, the young man also said to the vice president, do the order still stand? And the vice president turned and whipped his neck around and said, of course the order still stands. Have you heard anything to the contrary? Now, this had to be the Pentagon, the, the flight that hit the Pentagon. How can Dick Cheney know this and Donald Rumsfeld not know it, the president not know it, the military not know it? And another question, sir. I'm going to let you go. Uh, <clears throat> first, I want to ask you how often do you get these kind of questions because there seems to be a whole world out there that revolves around every jot and tittle of everything that's ever been said. It's just well, suspecting that this is a conspiracy. Well, that's right. The, uh, look, we're still arguing about the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. And we're arguing about uh, John F. Kennedy's assassination. September 11th is one of the most traumatic days in the history of our country, maybe the most traumatic. Uh, we on the 9-11 Commission took our best crack at it. We were ordered by the statute to tell the story of 9-11, put aside the recommendations. We did the very best we could on that, but it's a dynamic situation. Information continually comes up, and there's a lot of suspicion about what we found and what we didn't find. So these stories will continue. Now, with regard to Cheney's action, he was the person in the White House. The president at the time was in Sarasota, Florida, and speaking to that small group, really, of uh, children. And uh, communications were not as good as we would like them to have been between uh, President Bush and the White House at that time. And incidentally, that's one of the things we think have been corrected since that time. But the vice president was in the operation room. He was in charge, in a sense. Uh, he was in communication with the president as quickly as he could be at that point in time. And uh, yet, we did find a flaw in the communication problem. Uh, Don Rumsfeld was uh, in the Pentagon, uh, as I recall, but not, fortunately, at the point of impact. And when the impact did occur, he wanted to try to be helpful. And he, he personally went over there to try to be helpful before they got him and, I think, turned him around. Uh, so All right. Uh, Cheney was in the key position at the time. 